Who holds all the cards? A simple question with such powerful implications. If you're looking for a literal answer, right now, I hold all the cards. But, when taken in the shape of expression, the cards could go one of two ways. Meet Harry. A man whose mistakes justify his means. Seems his whole life missed the 9 o'clock train and settled for the 9.20. That was until he met Starla, his faithful beloved. They met in 99, got married in 2005, but it wasn't until 2007 that Starla, Harry's seeming virtuous queen, met Hank. Not surprisingly, she fell instantly in love with the guy. His subtle attitude and cool persona were far too overpowering for Starla. Hank represented everything that Harry was not, and gave her everything he couldn't. And those were just a couple of the many reasons which Starla used to justify her second marriage. However, what Starla did not tell Hank was that she was already married to Harry. And what Starla did not tell Harry was that she was now also married to Hank. The pair were being played like a couple of antique records, and Starla was the proverbial DJ. How she went undetected for so long is an irrelevant factor right now. What is relevant is that these two men did eventually find out, and when they did, instead of doing what any American husband in a logical state of mind would do when told that his wife was not just sleeping with another man, but completely espoused to him, so, divorcing Starla? They decided on a fun little game of cards to settle this small issue. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where I come in. So who holds all the cards? Who gets Starla? I deal with fate a lot in my job. And he can be a real asshole. No hard feelings, yeah? <clears throat> Can I get a ride home?